which will be the base upon which another election is likely to be called. Look at that schedule, because that is the schedule that election and boundaries, not parliament, election and boundaries will be utilizing. So you may not be able to move parliament to do anything, but you can stop election and boundaries. And that's what we're saying. Stop election and boundaries from abusing the rights of the Belizean people. Is the electorate really being held hostage by a political directorate or a, a, a legislature which seems quite content with the status quo? This is the reason why the impetus is towards looking at the schedule that exists, which is an act of parliament that has been done. It's complete. The schedule in Europa, at the time it was introduced, however many decades ago, may have been suitable then. Because of the movement of people and the growing of electoral division, it has no long, it has outgrown its usefulness and its constitutional its constitutionality is non existent. So the court can declare it. And that's what the court is being invited to do. Declare that this is unconstitutional. Once that is done, the can cannot be kicked down the road any further. Parliament has to act at that point. But it is more important for you to know why this is going on. At least your audience need to know. It is going on because there is a right, a human right, called the right to vote. The right to vote in free elections, fair elections and free elections that is being taken away gradually from us as Belizeans. That right is guaranteed not only by constitution, but by God, because it's only God that guarantees human rights. So um, we are in court asking the, the state, the court, to grant us that right to be equal as God has chosen us to be equal. It is all about equality. We want to be, to have the same number of persons in our constituency as another constituency. Right now, the constituencies are very unequal. One of the largest constituencies, um, Stan Creek West, Belmopan, they have over 10,000. I understand Stan Creek West have 13,000 people now. All of those people get together and elect one representative. While people in Fort George and people in um, Pickstock and people in especially uh, Mesopotamia, the smallest division, with 2,000, a little over 2,000 persons, elect one representative also. So it is totally unfair to have one that has 10,000 and another with 2,000. And this is what we are saying to the, um, to the government. It's time to do redistricting. And why is this important? Because the politicians thrive on the idea that we, the people, don't know our rights. You see, there's a problem here for them, you know, because every five years, every so often, they have to come to us lowly people to give them permission to rule us. And they don't like that. They don't want that. They want to say, take our votes, put it in their pockets, and when it's time for voting, they take out our votes and vote for themselves. And this is what we're trying to do. We're trying to get back the right to vote, that God-given right to each Belizean to decide. You see, so that when a politician, politician does stupidness, then we must only knock our chest and say, well, I put him there. Because you voted, the vote was fair, the vote was equal. But if that doesn't happen, you are not responsible for what the politician does. And that is unfair. So essentially, I tried to break down why we are in court. We are in court to get fair representation. And yesterday, the judge heard us. In two weeks' time, the judge will make a decision whether or not we 
are right by the constitution or we are wrong. 